Hello everyone, welcome to our special Techno channel. In the previous session, we talked about the concepts of open standards and WMS and WMPS services. In this session, we will get to know in details the WFS and WCS services and their operations. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of these videos. The OGC Web Feature Service Interface Standard or WFS defines a set of interfaces for accessing geographic information at the feature and feature property level over the Internet. A feature is an abstraction of real-world phenomena that is a representation of anything that can be found in the world. The attributes or characteristics of a geographic feature are referred to as the feature properties. WFS offers the means to retrieve or query geographic features in a manner independent of the underlying data stores they publish. Where a WFS is authorized to do so, the service can also update or delete geographic features. An instance of a WFS is also able to store queries in order to enable client applications to retrieve or execute the queries at a later point in time. Usage The WFS standard makes geographic feature data available through a highly configurable interface. By default, the data returned by a WFS is in Geography Markup Language or GML, which is written as an extensible markup language or XML. However, emerging versions of the standard will also support the JavaScript object notation or JSON. Government agencies, private organizations, and academic institutes use this standard to publish vector show special datasets in a way that makes it easier for receiving organizations to compile new maps or conduct analysis on the supply data. WFS provides a standard interface for requesting vector geo special data consisting of geographic features and their properties. The benefit of this is that WFS clients can request source data from multiple WFS servers and then render the data for display on the client or process the data further as part of a workflow. This standard guarantees that the data can be accessed consistently with other data. Feature properties encoded using common data types such as text strings, date, and time can also be accessed consistently. WFS operations This section provides detailed information about the types of operations that the WFS server offers. The list includes operations offered by different configurations of WFS servers. All versions of WFS support these operations. Get capabilities, describe feature type, get feature, like feature, and transaction. Remember that these following operations are available in version 2.0.0 only. Get property value, get feature with lock, create a stored query, drop a stored query, list a stored queries, and describe stored queries. Also, the get GML object operation is available in version 1.1.0 only. We explain some of the most commonly used operations in details in the following. Get capabilities. A WFS server responding to a GET capabilities request returns metadata about the service, including supported operations and parameters, and the list of the available feature types. An example of a GET capabilities request is There are three required parameters and values being passed to the WFS server. The service parameter tells the server that the WFS request is forthcoming. The version parameter tells the server what version of the service is being requested. Here is 1.1.0. The request parameter tells the server that the operation requested is the get capabilities operation. Describe feature type. This requests information about an individual feature type before requesting the actual data. Specifically, the operation will request a list of features and attributes for the given feature type or list the feature types available. To read a list of feature types, the GET request would be as follows. The request parameter is describe feature type operation. The type names parameter lists information about the specific feature type and it's required for WFS 1.0 and earlier. In this case, this parameter is top column states. The output format is an optional parameter and it returns features and feature information in a number of formats such as GML2, GML3, Shapefile, JSON, and CSV. Get feature. A WFS server responding to a get feature request returns a collection of geography feature instances filtered according to a criteria set by the requesting client. The request can be sent through HTTP GET or HTTP POST. For simplicity, the following example requests are sent through HTTP GET only. The most simple get feature request is one that downloads the feature collection without any constraints to filter the content by. 
The get feature request queries the server with a set of parameters describing the geographic features to return. An example of a get feature request is Request is get feature, type names is top column states. Additional parameters can be added to a further filter or convert the response from the WFS. The information needed to specify values for parameters, including other parameters that we shall introduce below, can be obtained from the capabilities document. To include additional parameters to the get feature request above, simply add an ampersand at the end of the URL, then add the name of the parameter, an equal sign, and the value to assign to the parameter. Max features parameter. The following get feature request limits the number of features written by the server to a single feature instance. The number to limit the response by is determined by the value of max features parameter. You can use the count parameter for WFS200 or the max features parameter for earlier WFS versions. In this case, the max features parameter is equal to bounding box parameter. Another parameter that can be added to a get feature request is that of the bounding box or B box. This parameter is a comma separated list of four numbers that indicate the minimum and maximum bounding coordinates of the feature instances that should be returned. An example of the use of the bbox parameter is shown below. Property name parameter. Another parameter that you can be added to a get feature request is the property name. This parameter returns feature instances with only the specified property included. This functionality is particularly useful in situations where feature types with several properties are being served over a network with limited bandwidth. The client application can pick and choose which properties they want written within the feature instances. An example of the use of this parameter is shown below. In this case, the property name parameter is state on the line name and persons fields. Sort by parameter. The results written by WFS can also be organized in a particular order through the sort by parameter. This parameter returns feature instances in a sequence determined by a specified parameter. This functionality is particularly useful in situations where feature types have properties representing quantities or populations. An example of the use of this parameter is shown below that sorted by persons. SRS name parameter. This parameter is used to specify the special reference system to encode feature geometry in. The special reference systems allowed for each feature type can be identified from the get capabilities response. Feature ID parameter. This parameter is used to filter the features written by the request. Query action. Up to now, we have only presented get feature request examples sent as URLs through the HTTP get method. It's also possible to send the body of the request as an XML document through the HTTP POST method. The following is an example of a get feature request that contains a query action and is sent through the HTTP POST method. To do this, navigate to the demo section, then click on demo request link. This page has example WMS, WCS, and WFS requests for GeoServer that you can use. Select WFS underline get feature 1.0.xml from the drop down list, then click submit to send the request to Joe Server. As you can see in the screen, we filtered the state.tree feature ID from top column states layer. You can also change it according to your needs. Note that we will talk about the demo section and its capabilities in details in the next sessions. Get property value. A get property value operation returns the value of the feature property specified in the request and is valid for WFS version 2.0.0 only. This operation is most useful when the server is being accessed over networks with limited bandwidth because it returns only the property value rather than the complete feature instance data. The following is an example of a get property value request is sent through the HTTP GET method. Service is WFS. Version is 2.0.0. Request is get property value, type names is top column states, and value reference is state underline name. To retrieve value for a different attribute, alter the value reference parameter. List sort queries. This operation is valid for WFS version 2.0.0 only and returns a list of the stored queries currently maintained by WFS server. An example of the use of this operation is shown below.
Transaction. This optional operation allows the feature instances and their properties to be updated or deleted. The operation can also be used to insert new features. A WFS server that supports transaction is sometimes known as a WFST server. The WFS standard doesn't enforce any particular security model. Therefore, implementations are expected to implement a security model appropriate for their own infrastructure. Since the request modifies data, we suggest installing a local instance of a WFS. The following example was tested at HTTP localhost colon 8080 slash server slash WFS in demo request page. To see the modifications, first preview the tiger colon POI layer. Then send the update request to Joe server. So select WFS underline transaction update.xml from the drop down list, then at the bottom of the page, enter username and password and click submit. Get feature with lock. This operation is valid for WFS version 2.0.0 only and is similar to a get feature operation except that when the set of features are returned from the WFS server, the features are also logged in anticipation of a subsequent transaction operation. Since the request modifies the state of a data source, we suggest using a local instance of a WFS. The following example was tested at HTTP localhost colon 8080 slash Joe server slash WFS. An example request is shown below. In the lag time, you can't modify the Tiger column POI layer to adjust the lag time. Alter the expiry parameter. WCS The Web Coverage Service or WCS is an OGCS standard that is designed to allow users to access and retrieve your special information in the form of coverage. Coverage are digital representation of space varying phenomena such as elevation, temperature, and population density. One can think of it as WFS for raster data. It gets the source code of the map, but in this case it's not raw vectors, but raw imagery. An important distinction must be made between WCS and WMS. They are similar and can return similar formats, but the WCS is able to return more information, including valuable metadata and more formats. It additionally allows more precise queries, potentially against multidimensional backend formats. Benefits of WCS WCS provides a standard interface for how to request the raster source of a geospatial image. A WCS can return data that can be used for sophisticated analysis and modeling, while WMS which only returns an image that cannot be used to obtain any meaningful results. Additionally, WCS allows its clients to extract only a part of the coverage they require. Usage of WCS the WCS standard is used to provide access to raster data over the internet. It allows users to retrieve a specific subset of raster data in a variety of formats, making it easier to share and distribute data among different GIS applications and users. The WCS can be used for a wide range of applications. Some specific use cases for WCS include environmental monitoring, the WCS can be used to provide access to real-time satellite imagery data for monitoring environmental conditions such as water quality, air pollution, and weather patterns. Disaster response The WCS can be used to provide access to high-resolution imagery data that can be used for disaster response and relief efforts. Land management 
The WCS can be used to provide access to data on land use, soil types, and vegetation cover, which can be used for land management planning and decision making. Overall, the WCS is an important tool for accessing and sharing raster data in a variety of applications, helping to improve decision making and planning process. WCS operations the OGC WCS specification defines several mandatory operations including Get capabilities This operation allows a client to request information about the service capabilities and coverage offered. Describe coverage This operation allows a client to request detailed metadata that describes selected coverage offered by a server. Get coverage this operation allows a client to request a coverage comprised of selected range properties at a selected set of special temporal extents. These three operations are mandatory for all WCS implementations, but additional optional operations may be supported by some servers to provide more advanced functionality. Get capabilities The WCS get capabilities operation is a request that returns metadata information describing the dataset and services offered by the server. It provides information including the coverage region, format, projection, and coordinate reference systems. An example get capabilities request that can be used to identify the coverage that available from the service is shown below. The names and identifiers of the available coverage are obtained from the capabilities document that is returned by the get capabilities response. Notice as well that Capabilities document identifies the image formats that are supported by the service. Describe coverage. The WCS Describe Coverage operation is a request that retrieves information about the specific coverage offered by a WCS server. The information includes the coverage spatiotemporal extent, data format, and available coordinate reference systems. This operation is useful for clients to determine whether the coverage they need is available and to understand its properties before making a request for the actual data. An example described coverage request is shown below. Note that the response is a coverage description XML document. The version is 200 and the coverage ID is a mandatory identifier of the coverage that is to be described in the response. Get coverage. The WCS get coverage operation is a request to a WCS server to retrieve a coverage dataset that describes a geographic area or region of interest. The operation allows users to specify the special extent, temporal range, and other parameters of the coverage dataset they want to retrieve. The written dataset can be in various formats including raster image, grids, or vector data. An example get coverage request that can be used to retrieve data from the service is shown below. The data returned in the get coverage response can be rendered by a QJS or forwarded to an OGC WMS for rendering. Alternatively, it can be forwarded to an OGC Web Processing Service or WPS for further processing. WCS output formats are configured coverage by coverage. The current list of output formats follows JPEG, GIF, PNG, TIFF, BMP, JOTIFF, ArcGrid. Be aware, ArcGrid is designed to have square cells, so the get coverage request must make sure the X and Y resolution are equal. Otherwise, an exception will be thrown. In this session, we talked about the WFS and WCS services and some of the most commonly used operations. It's our pleasure that you subscribe to our channel and watch our videos. Also, if you would like to know more information around the open standards and WMS and WMTS services, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a good time!